Shaking all over. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the uh, welcome to the Pachero Pachero Club. Welcome to the Pachero Club episode of Show Us Your Today we're with Peter from the Pachero Club. He's one of our DTU instructors, and he's also got this awesome machine which he calls his Little Seventy Nine. So we're <laughs> going to run around the car with Peter, and he's going to show us all the details of his little rig. And we're going to start from the front. Welcome, Peter. Thank you, Ed. No worries, mate. So run us around your car. We'll start from the front. Start from the front. There. Show us what you got. Um, well, it started obviously as a base 79, and as everyone who's bought a 79 knows, when you buy it, you've actually just paid the deposit. It all starts from that point. Um, but anyway, I'll show you the bits and pieces that I've added to it. Um, ARB steel bull bar, um, 12,000 um, pound winch, uh, carbon winch. Um, Nava spotlights, fantastic. Can't rave about them enough. Great club sponsor. Yep. GME antenna, a short one at the moment because we're in the high country and that's all you need. And I've got the bigger one as well obviously for um, long distance and desert trips and things like that. Um, underneath if you can see, it's been lifted a little bit, it's got portals on it uh, for Mark's four wheel drive. What that does, it basically lifts the car up six inches including the 35 inch tyres. Um, it's completely legal, it's actually plated with this lift. Um, and pre-registration plated with this lift and with these tyres so uh, no issues with uh, Mr Plod. Um, bash plates obviously where you need them. One recovery point at the moment. Um, they're still working on making another one for the other side so that'll that'll happen fairly soon. I don't know if you can see in here guys it's got the um, old man emu BP51s which um, rave about. Um, obviously heavier duty springs as well. Um, one of the things you know with a 79 is they normally have uh, a manual locking hub system. Um, with the mark system, with the portals, um, it actually becomes uh, air operated. So in my dash I've got a switch to turn on the compressor and a switch to turn on the front hubs which activates my front wheel drive. Um, snorkel. Snorkel was custom made by Ash at Fusion. Um, really uh, good bit of kit. And he also built the uh, replacement um, uh, air filter box because on the standard boxes they can tend to suck in a bit of dust so change that over as well to make it bulletproof. Um, mirrors. Clear view mirrors um, for towing of course they pop out as well. Excuse the dirt we've been driving in the dust all weekend so um, they're also electrically operated so when you are driving in the bush in a tight situation you can just literally Press the button and they both tuck in for you. So that's, it can be handy getting around trees and bits and pieces. Um, don't know if you noticed then the side steps for people of Ed stature <laughs> can be very handy. So uh, this would present a bit of a challenge. It does. Normally, open the door, step comes down. Yes, it's a bit uh, a bit of a beep, beep, beep factor, factor, which I can't say. <laughs> but shut the door again. Up they go, get out of the way. Um, on top, front runner roof rack, uh, just for wood and you know, whatever, bits and pieces you want to stack up there. Um, you come back inside, we've done a few mods to it. We've changed the seats over to, uh, actually a mob in um, northern suburbs does it. They convert Falcon XR6 seats, because uh, they fit beautifully onto the uh, rails here. Um, and they re leather them and they um, emboss them with Land Cruiser and all that sort of stuff. So I've got good side support, much better. It's even got electric, uh, electrically heated um, seats now, which is fantastic. Fire extinguisher in a good handy position. Excuse the mess. It's got uh, roof uh, consoles and a proper replacement console um, as well. Um, I've got my GME radio, and uh, one of the things I love about it. Um, the redeeming features is the fact that it's got a magnetic um, holder on it. You don't need to try to find a clip to hook a bag on. You just reach up there somewhere, click, on it goes. So really, really useful tool. There's a few other bits and pieces in there, a different head unit, etc. But uh, basically, yeah, it's um, it's a cruiser. The other thing I got recently, which I love, is this little armrest um, control because it's otherwise it's quite narrow on the arm. That's a, a brilliant sort of addition. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's the car. If you look up top, we have a
have a um, rooftop tent. It's a um, Bush Company um, rooftop. Uh, very, very good. Um, never had an issue with it. It um, is really dust proof. It doesn't get wet uh, when you're driving. Um, love it. Up the very, very top, you can see an antenna that's connected to a cell fi system which boosts the signal, uh, i.e. down where we are now, if you didn't have it, you'd be lucky to get half a bar of signal, which isn't Just enough to make a call. Talbotville. Talbotville. If I've got it up now and we're getting 4G. We're getting three bars of 4G, so really, really happy with that. And everybody's loving the 4G at the present Everyone, time. <laughs> <laughs> There's a congregation of people when I turn it on that come, uh, come watching. Pete's favourite car. And in the boxes we've got? Boxes. Open this. Big yep, door open, up. open the big open uh, the big door. Oh, this fun. is the junk side. Excuse the mess, um, but ideally I've got a um, 100 amp uh, lithium battery underneath here. Um, additional storage, water storage. Even though as part of the canopy there is 60 liters underneath as well, so I can access that through a tap. Um, and the rest of this is just storage. This is the storage side, so I can load this up and, and, and strap everything down. Box with all oils, lubes, um, fluids, you know, uh, bits that you might need, spare filters, etc, etc, etc. Lighting, um, which is bush proof around here, it comes with a red tinge, doesn't mean I'm touting for business, it's just uh, the bugs don't get as attracted to it. If you're not in a bad area, press it again, it goes white. So, uh, great bit of kit. Nava, yeah. <laughs> Another little plug for Nava. Uh, this side, uh, under box is my recovery gear, um, which fits in quite nicely, easy to get to. Um, so all my bits and pieces for um, tree trunk protectors, snatch straps, winch extension straps, snatch blocks, um, you know, equaliser straps, all bits and pieces. So in it goes. The tray is made, the tray and the canopy made by a company called Norweld out of Queensland. Um, fantastic um, as dust proof as I've ever seen they are really really good great company to deal with um, any issues boom, it's fixed 35 inch wheels yep I think we said that before with the thing okay. yeah okay. anyway we'll move around <laughs> man in the back to the you can see the canopy again that's a bush company canopy it's um, freestanding it doesn't even come with poles so the beauty of this is I use it. Uh, I used to have an ARB one that, you know, just a traditional fold out one. Um, but A, you usually need two people to use it properly, and B, by the time you set it up, you couldn't be bothered doing it again. So with this one, you just pull it out, whip it around, hook it on with your strap, boom, you're in business. No poles, no ropes, no nothing. We've had it, uh, it's rated to about 80 kilometres an hour um, for winds. So if I'm doing, if I'm out at anything more than 80 k's, yeah, I shouldn't be out. Two uh, spare wheels on the back. You'll notice they're actually sitting on the tray and bolted through. So I've got no extra weight hanging off one particular point. That was important for me. So Norwell designed it so that I've got we've got that gap, in the space for the tire to sit on. Right in the back here, another tray that slides out in there. Yep, this is my remote travel kit. So in here you can put in your um, cooking gear, um, you know, utensils, all that sort of stuff. In here, got the gas stove. Gas stove, just hook it up with a bottle, boom, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm cooking, literally. <laughs> in here, uh, med kit, um, tool kit, um, a few extra tie down ropes for the, uh, for the uh, caravan. Uh, and just bits and pieces, you know, window cleaning stuff, all that sort of gear, um, ratchet straps, bits and pieces, but it's easy to get to. So, yeah, I, I like this drawer, uses a lot. You can see all the dust here, that's still reasonably clean, so it gives you an idea how well it sort of seals. Especially around here. And your recovery point at the back there? Recovery point, um, it's a Sabre one, it's designed for the soft shackle. Um, and because I've got a soft shackle and a, a, a Sabre recovery rope, uh, I have that in. Otherwise, I just use my pin if I'm just using a standard snatch strap. So, yep, all good. Mark's four-wheel drive um, tow bar, which is nice and high. Um, and it's obviously uh, rated. It's even had these two points are rated recovery points. Mm -hmm. So I can use either here or there or there. So it's all, you know, Mickey Mouse. Uh, there's on my setup from the 
caravan. You know, the normal pin, the Anderson, and the, the rear camera off the back of the caravan. Um, exhaust? Yep. Exhaust, uh, small one. Uh, no, four inch exhaust. So it gives it a bit of a, a note. The engine has been tuned um, by uh, uh, my diesel friend up at Sylvan who uh, specialises in this sort of stuff and he's, he's done a really nice tune on it for what I want. Um, coming over this side, we'll start on the bottom. Again, there's my compressing system. I've got the ARB twin unit in there. Um, just turn it on just by whack of that, I won't because it'll be very noisy. I've also got an airbag system, so it's got two airbags for when I'm towing. It just you know, it gives me that, um, that little bit more firmness, if you like, in the, uh, in the rear. That runs off the compressor as well. So, you know, plenty of uh, hose to get around to fit them all. Yep, it's just nice and compact. And again, you can see, you know, that's still reasonably clean in there. So, yeah, it's stone dust proof. We recently did the Birdsville track. We did the Birdsville track, yes indeed. Yes and indeed. Up to the Territory, and how much dust got in? Bugger all. Yeah. Bugger all. So, very happy with that. This is the uh, the business side, I suppose. Um, it's my favourite bit. The drinks favorite fridge. Bit. Yep. Drinks fridge which is a Snowmaster, which a lot of people haven't heard of, but they're actually um, a South African company. Um, and uh, we got this through, uh, through Ben at uh, uh, Ultimate at, in Fetra Gully. Um, and uh, great unit, I've had it well, three years now, hasn't missed a beat. Um, Clearview slide came with the canopy, the fridge I supplied myself. All right, so operating it, you've all seen, you've all gone, oh, how, the, how the hell am I going to get into that? So it's a drop down, but I like it for its simplicity. It's just straight down. All right, nice simple system inside. What have you got in here, mate? <coughs> I'm not showing you that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a two zone, um, so you can set it up, you know, fridge, fridge. And the beauty is the separation isn't just a little, you know, sheet of um, plastic. It's actually two distinct cabinets, right? So you can actually turn one off, turn one on, have them both on, have one freezer, one fridge, two freezers, two fridge, whatever you want. It's entirely up to you. So nice and easy to get to. Built-in lights, yeah, it's, it's a good bit of kit. And your electrical system we're seeing there? Yep, yep, that's all supplied by Norworld as part of the system. So the, um, the Red Arc system to maintain my batteries, um, the Victron, which tells me which I can remotely connect to my phone, so I can figure out what the hell's going on. Um, the cell phone systems up the top there, um, fuses, bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah. That's and your, your travel buddy. How do you operate that? Travel buddy. Yep. Yeah. Let's get into that. Travel buddy, which you've probably seen, many people have got the travel buddies, but one of the things that annoyed me in this car was that um, I can't smell when the food's ready. You know, most of you know if you've got it inside the, you know, the back of your normal full drive, you can smell when your pies or your whatever you're cooking is ready. I obviously can't because I'm separated because it's in the canopy. So I got um, the guy, Ben and the guys at uh, Ultimate to wire it up for me, so I've got a switch on the dash that turns it on and turns it off. So I can preheat on the move, I can turn it off if I think, you know, hell, I'm, I'm overcooking this. So I leave this on all the time, and I operate it via a switch on the dashboard. And I so hear it cooks a mean sausage roll. Beautiful, you know, the, what was the brand name again? A, a Janine Jan sausage a Janine roll. Janine sausage Janine roll. Sausage roll. If you ever find them, fantastic. You know, I hear they're Ex coals. Exclusive think. brand of Janine sausage rolls. They're coals. legendary in the club. Another drawer. Um, Again, nice and deep, plenty of room. As part of the kit, this also came with it so that you can actually add a table onto the end of your fridge. Um, but also, as part of this, you've got another table there. So there's my wining and dining sort of cupboard uh, in the same bit. So, again, nice bit of kit. Works very well. Plenty of storage up top. Fits about seven slabs, I think. Could, it does, could slide yes. up the top. <laughs> and uh, no, it, it works really well. Um, rest of the car, where are we up to? Well, you've seen the inside. Yeah, 
uh, there's nothing much to talk about there. You can see the inside of the um, console, roof canopy console. And I even got the guys, the guys at uh, Ultimate, the switch actually says travel oven. So I know what it is. So. <laughs> <laughs> get too close to that magnet. Yeah. Uh, and, oh, thank yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, so, Peter. That's my little rig. And, and Peter is one of our driver trainers. He's one of our senior members as well. well oh, not God. saying that he's old. He's just been in the club for yeah, a well, long time. The whiskers are white. So yeah, the whiskers there. are white. <laughs> so thank you, Peter, for showing us around your little 79. Pleasure. And we'll see you once again. Thanks, Ed. All right, guys. No worries. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. See ya.